Howdy champs, my name is Mohitan guys in this tutorial I'm gonna show you how how uh, the set timeout and the clear interval methods behave differently from each other what's the basic difference between the two okay so let's start I'm gonna say create new access for three file next guys I'm gonna draw an oval shape a ball shape okay pressing the uh, shift key it's red in color which is fine I'm gonna select an area around it I'm gonna say control C control V to copy I'm gonna change the color inside to green for the second one all right let me convert the red ball to a movie clip so convert to symbol keeping the registration point top left making it a movie clip I'm gonna say okay I'm gonna repeat the same process with the other ball right click I'm gonna say convert to symbol keeping the registration point top left it's a movie clip I'm gonna say okay okay next I'm gonna give instance names I'm gonna say uh, red ball for the red ball and I'm gonna say green ball for the green ball so that's a green ball okay then uh, I would want to uh, drag the red ball over the green ball I'm gonna say right click I'm gonna say uh, arrange bring to front and then I'm gonna select both the balls together open up the alliance tool making sure align to stage is selected I'm gonna hit this symbol as well as this symbol now it's bang in the center let me change the color of the stage to let's say this color All right next guys I have to code and let's use the set timeout method first so set uh, time out now let me tell you what is set timeout what is set interval method and how are they uh, different from each other with a set timeout uh, method guys we will be able to fire a function which is a little delayed but we'll be able to fire it just once with the set interval method uh, the function fires but uh, fires incessantly does not stop we'll soon see how so set timeout then name of the function my delayed function right my delayed function and then the time lapse after which I would want the function to happen let's say 2000 next I have to define the function before that let me put a semicolon in the end and then I'm gonna say function then uh, let me copy this much paste it out here and then let me define it like this that's the syntax I'm gonna say swap children now swap children is to swap the objects the depth of the objects okay so I'm gonna swap one movie clip with the other one I'm gonna say red ball with the green ball that's uh, what I want to swap okay so that's it I'm gonna hit control enter to test and guys after two seconds uh, the delayed function fires just once now that's that's set time out method and let's see how it's actually different from the other one so uh, I'm gonna apply a block comment here and uh, let me paste it out here sorry uh, let me copy this much and uh, yep let me apply a block comment once again and after which guys let me paste it out here now let's see as I said uh, how is set timeout different from set interval so instead of timeout I'm gonna say interval interval okay and instead of my delayed function I'm gonna say mm, repeated function okay as I said through the set interval method we are able to repeat a function I need to change the function name here as well rest everything else remains just the same hit control enter to test this time guys uh, the change will be that uh, the colors or the balls actually swap and they go on endlessly without a break now what if I actually want to apply uh, you know I want to stop the set timeout method or the set interval method yes it is possible let me do it for the set interval first let me create a variable variable okay si si for set interval is equal to uh, 
set interval uh, my uh, repeated function comma 2000 whatever right I actually put the value inside a variable and then let's see what I actually do I'm gonna go to the components panel bring in the buttons component okay and uh, in the components parameters I'm gonna give it a label of clear all caps I'm gonna go to the uh, instance name I'm gonna give it an instance name of clear underscore btn sorry I'm sorry that's uh, clear underscore btn for the clear button okay next guys let me go back to the actions panel and uh, go on coding I'm gonna say clear underscore btn dot add event listener okay mouse event dot all caps click and then the name of the function so that's a uh, clear and uh, right and then let's define the function clear handler event colon mouse event right colon void that's the syntax guys you need to pass the event inside the parents you need to use the function keyword name of the function and uh, give the event inside the parenthesis put a colon void because the function will not calculate and return a value then you need the curly braces and then define the function I'm gonna say I'm gonna use the clear interval method guys so clear interval and then I'm gonna say clear what clear the variable SR SR alright and a semicolon right let me put a semicolon out here as well control enter to test okay guys now what will happen unless and until I hit the clear uh, button out here the, the set interval will go on and on and on and I'm gonna hit the clear button and now you'll see that uh, the function actually gets cleared you see since it clears the uh, variable which is holding the set interval value now this function does not fire anymore so beautiful alright and um, let's see how can I I can actually clear the set timeout so let me you know remove the comment and this time let me create yet another variable so variable so that's a set timeout so set time so this time I'm gonna call the variable st instead of sr okay and I'm gonna come out here and make a change instead of si I'm gonna say st and for the clear interval I'm gonna say clear time out okay so I'm gonna clear the timeout so if I hit that button before two seconds actually elapse you see the set timeout does not fire let me prove my point control enter on my keyboard and I'm gonna hit it instantly ah I was a little late guys I should have hit it before two seconds so let me try again see this time guys I was uh, I think I've made some mistakes somewhere mmm let me just go back and check the code okay guys I figured out uh, what was my mistake uh, since I need to check the you know the set timeout method I have to make sure that uh, the set interval method is actually blocked out so let me apply a block comment and uh, you see what was happening is although the set timeout was uh, cleared through the clear timeout method the set interval was uh, firing off again and again so that there was a conflict now that the set interval method has been blocked out should work fine control enter to test immediately hit the clear button and guys this time the red ball stays a red ball does not get swapped to a green ball right let me show it to you again control enter to test and hit the button immediately and the red ball is a red ball is a red ball is a red ball forever right that's because I hit the button before two seconds actually elapsed this time uh, for the third time I'm not gonna hit the button at all let's see what will happen so I'm not gonna hit the clear button now and you see it actually gets swapped with the green ball just once so guys 
set timeout method uh, fires a delayed function just once and the set interval method goes on and on until uh, we can clear it through the clear interval method so guys i hope you like this tutorial and i hope to see you very soon you have a good day guys bye bye peace